objective of the experiment. The activity aims to determine and to compare the work done by gravitational force on an object to the change in kinetic energy of the object. And for our intended learning outcomes, the students shall be able to first determine the work done by gravitational force and change in kinetic energy of an object, second, compare the work done by gravitational force to the change in kinetic energy of an object, and last, analysis of data, conclusion derived, and learning acquired from the experiment. And for the materials, we will be needing a 2.2 meter linear tract with feet and end stops. Next is motion sensor. A laptop. Dynamic cart and top beam balance. And angle indicator. Presentation of data and results. On angle number one, the average change in kinetic energy is 0.80 joules, while the average work done is 0.81 joules, yielding to a percent error of 1.23 percent. On angle number two, the average change in kinetic energy is 1.6. 61 joules while well, the average work done is 1.61 joules yielding to a percent error of 0.20 percent on angle number three the average change in kinetic energy is 3.20 joules while the average work done is 3.70 joules yielding to a percent error of 0.82 percent observations during the experiment as the angle increases, the velocity of the cart also increases. As the angle increases, the work done by gravitational force also increases. As the angle increases, the calculated change in kinetic energy also increases. The greater the angle, the faster the cart could reach the end stop. Conclusion If you are going to determine what gravitational forces are, these are forces of attraction. Every object in the universe that has mass exerts gravitational pull or forces. Work done is equal to energy transferred to an object. The beginning energy is all potential energy, so therefore the final energy obtained by an object is all kinetic energy. When all objects fall in any height, its gravitational potential energy is changed to kinetic energy. Therefore, a change in kinetic energy is equal to the work done. This is according to the work energy theorem. As we get the percent error between work done and change in kinetic energy, the average is 1.23%, 0.20%, and 0.82%. Based on the data and results, work done by gravitational force is near to the value of the change in kinetic energy. This proved the work energy theorem. Crazy, oh.